Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is The Mom Logs. I had so much fun doing a day in the life vlog last week that I thought I would do it again. If you missed that one, I'll link it up in the cards now and then I'll go ahead and link all of the lovely ladies that I collabed with on that last time down below in the description box again. I'm not gonna make any guarantees that this day is gonna be very exciting because quarantine life, but I figured I would just take you along if you're nosy like me and like to see what people are doing with their days. So laundry, um, let's see what else. I am recording this on Wednesday, April 1st. The kids are in the living room playing. I think they're playing dress up. Jack's dressed up as Santa. Yesterday we kept busy. Um, we started rock candy, um, making three flavors peach, tropical punch, and cotton candy. So that has started, I think it takes about two weeks for the crystals on it to form. We finished up the doors upstairs and we just need to put the molding on and paint the doors downstairs. I think that we have, we've got three doors on the lower level of our split level that we need to put molding on. And we have enough molding in our house to do two out of the three doors, so. Probably work on that either this week or um, after the kids go to bed. Um, on, let's see, what day was that? I wanna say it was on Sunday. We, are, we have a pretty wooded backyard and we have a willow all the way in the back of our yard. It has three main branches coming off of it or limbs or whatever they're called. Three main sections and two of them fell off because we had some really high winds and it's been really, really wet lately. We actually had a river like running through all of our backyards. Um, I can insert a picture of that here. My husband took a picture. It was pretty crazy looking, but all that to say that the willow demolished our neighbor's shed, the um, neighbors who live behind us. So yeah, so Rob is gonna get in touch with an adjuster to schedule him out, hopefully at some point this week to assess the situation and see how much of it's gonna be covered. And yeah, that's basically a little life update for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get Ben dressed and get this load of wash started. The rain is supposed to let up at some point today, so hopefully we can get out for a walk. We still haven't put those rocks down those rocks from my last day in the life vlog um, back outside. So hopefully we can get that done today and we'll see where this day takes us. You wanna say good morning? Good, good morning. morning. We just woke up and guess what I have? A bar, a Z bar. A peanut butter Z bar. A peanut butter Z bar. It's a peanut butter one? Yeah. Yum. I, I'm going to finish it later. It doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good? Yes. Yeah. So we are going to get our bodies moving this morning. There is a YouTube channel called Cosmic Kids Yoga, and we are gonna do their, I think it's her most recent video, it's just a dance party, just to get the kids moving, and then I'm gonna do some weather worksheets that Jack's teacher sent um, in an email. So I'm gonna get those printed off when we're done here. Love you from the first time you call me late. Love you for your wits and your wicked games. Uh, yeah. Always on my mind, always in my brain. Yeah. With you, this summer came and went in a day. And I've been craving you since the first time that I sat by your side. Oh, oh. And I've been on my knees thinking time is gonna fix me inside. No, nothing's gonna make me forget And I don't think I want to forget So these are those weather worksheets that his teacher sent. So counting the raindrops and circling the numbers for number recognition. Oh, thank you. 
that's my computer mouse um, and then picking what the weather is like today and then we have a fun activity to do are you ready are you done with your yoga are you still going are you done with your yoga or are you still going you're going okay that's fine so in my last day in the life video I for our fun activity I had mentioned that um, my in-laws bought the kids a playhouse so while we're working on our schoolwork I thought it would be fun to show a time lapse that I'm hoping will turn out cute um, of my husband Rob and the kids putting that playhouse together. This is what um, your teacher is calling cloud painting. So we're gonna make a cloud out of shaving cream. And then you can draw with it. See, it's getting bigger. Are you ready for your cloud? So you can put your hands in it. It smells good, huh? And then when we're all done, we'll just wash our hands, okay? Yeah. So have fun. Look. Can you smile? T. T. Can you look at me and smile? T. Nice. The kids are watching a little bit of a movie in the living room. If you can hear the TV in the background, that's what's happening. But anyway, I am just gonna have a morning snack before we get started on lunch in about an hour. Um, I, long story short, I realized that I wasn't um, consuming enough calories, so I reached out to a couple WW ladies and just the general consensus was that I probably need to double track just to get some sort of a sense of how many calories I'm eating versus how many points I'm eating. Um, I was just eating my dailies and um, it's just like not enough. And I'm just, I'm not trying to lose anymore. I'm just trying to maintain. So I'm double tracking on the WW app and um, the Lose It app. So I am having 28 points on blue for my dailies and then I'm gonna start out with just eating my fit points or eating as many of my fit points as I can um, and just listening to some my hunger cues a little bit more and um, it's just kind of hard in this time because I feel like in a way busier with the kids and Jack doesn't have school and I just kind of feel like pushed and pulled in a bunch of different directions whereas I didn't really feel like that before and I don't really know what the difference is but um, anyway I am tracking on lose it as well like I said and I think my calorie allotment is around 2000 give or take so um, yeah I'm just gonna have a quick snack I'm gonna have watermelon I was able to pop out to the grocery store for some fresh produce so I just have um, some cut up watermelon and then I'm gonna have maybe a couple servings of this um, non-dairy ready whip this is the coconut milk one I just wanted to give an update on like my food and where I am at with that and virtual meetings are going good and I am still in my like healthy weight range for maintenance so this ended up coming out to 70 calories and let's see one point so it's weird tracking produce but you know it is what it is no we bought it from the grocery store somebody else caught it so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch on a salad. I just thought I would share. This is just the plain ones. I've seen the spicy ones in the store and I've heard that they're really good, but I just had got the plain ones. These were 10 bucks and you get, let's see, 
14 ounces of them. They're pretty good, they're not bad. I usually throw them in my air fryer, but mm, I don't know. I can't say I'm gonna repurchase them because honestly it's more economical for me just to cut some chicken and coat it with like breadcrumbs or shake and bake. But I can see the idea behind it. It's one serving, which is two tenders. I, I believe is two points. So if it's in your budget, I say try them out. I tried them. They're good. Yep. You gonna put one there too, Benny? Okay, let's go at that house now. Aww, my owl. Owl. Jab it. He just puts it wherever. Yeah. <laughs> Jack does. Yeah. Tree. All right, so back from our walk, and I think we're gonna um, sit down and finish that movie that I had on for them earlier, and um, I made smoothies. So, and this is makes made four smoothies. One regular banana, one frozen banana, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of ground flax seed, two cups of unsweetened almond milk, and two tablespoons of PB2. So that is what is in there. And like I said, it made a smoothie for each of us. <gasps> I put that laundry in at like nine o'clock this morning, eight o'clock this morning. It's now a little bit after three and I still have not gone to go get it out of the dryer. So we have two loads of laundry that we need to go get and I need to clean up the kitchen so I can make a big well, mess I, again why? for dinner. Are you gonna help me put away laundry? Yeah! Are you gonna at least come upstairs? So much with being home, with doing social distancing, I didn't burn off some steam. All right, you guys ready? How's it going? So last night we stayed up until like 10.30, I think, because we wanted to finish Ozark. I feel so tired today. We still got up and worked out and stuff, but, and then we went for a walk. I'm just like dragging. I just peeled myself up off the couch. <sighs> I need to get dinner started, so. I'm gonna make steak stir fry for Rob and I, and I don't think the kids will eat that. I might give them a little bit on their plates, but I only thought out one steak because I wanted to save them. So I just figured I would make them something that I knew that they were gonna eat. So we're gonna make you ravioli and garlic breadstick. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is what I'm using in the stir fry. I haven't tasted it yet, but I think I ripped the top off of it. Sunburns. Sunburn, what is wrong with me? Sunburn stir fry seasoning mix. So then you just take the packet and you mix it with um, soy sauce and water. And then you just follow the directions. I just did my own thing with my stir fry. Here's what it looks like and I'm just waiting for my, hi, cauliflower rice to come out of the microwave. And then I'm gonna add that in and this is just thickening up. It would help if I showed you what I was actually doing. Just did some uh, frozen mixed veg, some steak that I had in the freezer, that's some minute rice I just put in the microwave, and then the stir fry seasoning mix. So 
So I'm gonna turn this down to low and I'll add my cauliflower rice and bon appetit. I could really go for an egg roll, P.S. Here's how it turned out. I have. And here is yours. I have no more. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. Six? Oh, the children are in bed. My face is washed. And I have my night cream on my face. It is. 7.25. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out my day. I hope you enjoyed this and that it wasn't too terribly boring. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you again on Monday.